everybody welcome back to a north texas weather center forecast and today what we're going over is that potential for some severe storms tonight across portions of north texas primarily off to our northeast but there could be a potential for some damaging wind gusts and maybe some large hailstones with a few of these storms that roll through our area i'm going to go down through the timing as well what impacts this will make to the lunar eclipse tonight for your viewing pleasure so let's get right into this so we have a marginal threat of severe weather across actually a good portion of north texas now this goes out as far west as wichita falls which i'll get into why i don't really think we'll see anything out to the west but there is a good chance of some severe weather close to the areas like sherman mckinney sulfur springs and paris there's also an enhanced risk of severe storms for southeastern oklahoma and it actually does extend into portions of paris so something to keep in mind there the main threat tonight again being damaging wind gusts but also some large hail may be possible with a storm or two there's a very low end tornado threat tonight but i don't expect that to impact anywhere in north texas tonight so no concerns in my opinion there here's a look at the lunar eclipse viewing for tonight there is a port uh, at this point what I'm forecasting is poor conditions for areas off toward north. So anywhere from Gainesville, Sherman, Paris, I'm expecting mostly cloudy to cloudy skies by the peak of the eclipse, which is right around 11 to 12 o'clock tonight. 11, 11 to be exact. But really, the, the total eclipse starts, I believe, at 1030 and it ends right around midnight. So just kind of give you an idea of when I'm kind of forecasting this. This is right around 11 o'clock or so. I'm expecting fair conditions across a good portion of DF, the DFW Metroplex. So that will include Denton, Dallas, Terrell, as well as areas like Bowie and Decatur. So Otherwise, anywhere back off to the south and west, I'm forecasting great conditions, sunny or clear skies, I should say, for the most part, and I would not expect much cloud cover at all out to the south and west. Let's get right into the future radar and timing for tonight. So right around 9 to 10 o'clock, you can start to see an area of storms will be back off to our north. I'm not forecasting this will really go that far west. There is an isolated potential that happens, which hence why there's a marginal risk that extends all the way back out to Wichita Falls. But as of right now, I am not concerned about areas near Wichita Falls. By about 11 o'clock, you can see the storms are approaching paris again the main threat tonight will likely be towards paris there is a potential though that a few storms may develop and go as far west as again maybe like sherman or gainesville by about midnight one in the morning you can see the main area of storms back up to our east by two to three o'clock again storms rolling through anywhere in eastern dfw primarily east of i-35 again i cannot rule out an isolated severe storm in the metroplex it's not out of the question at this point there is a potential for that at this current time the hr model is showing that most of that activity will stay out to our east and eventually going into Monday we should stay dry through Monday and Tuesday and I really don't expect any other rain chances at least until next Thursday so that's my forecast as of right now this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all dense repair in the Dashner law firm